Hi all, welcome to this talk uh, slash demo about uh, how we can enforce policy at Ingress. Uh, the on root uh, Ingress controller API gateway integrates with the open policy agent, uh, which you can use to enforce OPA policies. Um, of course, you can join the Slack channel. Uh, feel free to ask questions through the contact page. Um, if you need help or support, uh, Slack, it, Slack is a good way to reach us. That's me. I'm Chintan Thakkar, founder at uh, Saras. This talk is going to be about Enroute. Uh, it's how uh, Enroute has a lightweight model of filters. So we'll go over um, how the integration with OPA works, what are the filters involved, uh, what are the filters we are going to use for this demo. Um, we are going to uh, work a bit with uh, JSON Web Tokens, uh, George, so uh, we'll use a filter for that. Um, Envoy has a JORT filter, so Enroute programs that filter, uh, and uh, the provider is going to be Auth0, and along with that, uh, we are going to use the external authorization filter, which will talk to OPA. Uh, we'll program some policy on OPA and see it being enforced. Uh, this is the high-level architecture. Uh, Enroute has a very modular architecture. Uh, it's a lot similar to how Envoy does it. Enroute is a fairly lightweight uh, shim on Envoy proxy. And uh, you can enable, disable uh, all these functions like OIDC or SSL, TLS logging, WebAssembly, of course. We also did a talk on WebAssembly and rate limiting, uh, Lua, uh, external authorization, uh, OPA. So all these are filters, a uh, bunch of these are filters which you can enable disable uh, at a high level uh, to enforce uh, policy for your traffic going to a service. So here uh, especially we're going to talk about how we send request state to OPA, OPA checks the policy and return a response depending on uh, what the policy does to the incoming traffic and uh, we'll sort of inspect the whole uh, cycle. Uh, Enroute one step, uh, it is for north-south security and traffic management. It sits at the ingress and um, the one step config is essentially you can declaratively without writing any YAML uh, execute one command and uh, have the uh, required policy enforced uh, for your traffic. And of course it's uh, all CRD so it's Kubernetes native. Uh, it's built on Envoy proxy of course and uh, yeah, this is one of the key things. Uh, you can define policy once. You can use it for Kubernetes. You can also use it for non-Kubernetes workloads because uh, Enroute has the ability to not only run as an ingress controller, but you can also run it inside a Docker container as a standalone gateway. And um, it is uh, declarative with no YAML because uh, without writing YAML, you can basically program uh, the standard function. So, for instance, in today's demo, we are going to enable the JORT uh, filter and that was just set up by executing a Helm command, Helm command with the JORT switch turned on. Uh, there are three versions of Enroute, uh, the open source version, the community, and the enterprise. Uh, the open source source code is available on uh, GitHub. Um, the community version has uh, premium uh, filters like uh, rate limits, VASM, which are typically paid plugins, JORT, you know, I mean, typically other gateways charge for this. These are all free in Enroute, and the enterprise version has a few additional filters. Uh, OPA is an enterprise plugin features feature. You can check out all the features uh, on the Get Enroute page. Um, so what's Open Policy Agent? Um, it's a general purpose policy engine. Uh, what that means is uh, you can write uh, any policy there uh, with all the attributes and it will do the enforcement. Uh, it's attribute based uh, access control uh, over uh, RBAC. Um, typically an example of an RBAC would be restrict access to finance app or to CFO org or the finance org. So anytime a user comes in they get mapped to the corresponding role like a finance role and then the enforcement happens. Whereas in attribute based you can uh, provide richer policies like um, restrict access to a finance app, to, a, uh, to the CFO org, while uh, the CFO uh, 
the person who's accessing it is at a specific location and um, only when they're using the specific device like that laptop and of course you can also say yeah during these time uh, during this time duration so it sort of uh, provides a very rich layer of uh, attributes that you can use to uh, define your policy and um, OPA is uh, is uh, the right tool to do that kind of stuff so for this demo um, we have a system set up uh, so we will uh, we have already installed on uh, with the OPA integration um, and then uh, we have uh, installed an example workload in HTTP bin uh, we have installed the chart filter and uh, the idea behind this is that uh, all these things are uh, available on the getting started guide um, the getting started uh, covers um, how to set up the chart filter so we are not going to go over that stuff but uh, all the details can be found here um, so you just set that flag and jot is enabled so today what we're going to assume is that we have on root setup and the jot filter is enabled uh, by the way um, this uh, opa plugin details are also on the docs page uh, there's also a very small video of uh, how is opa is enforced so there's some information about the opa integration uh, with on root um, on the page and also of course how the configuration looks like and uh, uh, some uh, OPA policy but we're going to look at OPA policy in more detail here so uh, the idea here is that the stuff in gray we already have it set up and uh, we are going to quickly go through uh, the stuff uh, the uh, enforcement of JOT claims and um, the OPA policy so we want to focus on that aspect so let's quickly um, invoke uh, a request so we have HTTP bin set up and uh, what we are seeing here is that uh, it got denied so let's do that again so here we can see that Envoy um, does not like the request because the chart filter is enabled and um, uh, we have not uh, sent it a jot so let's quickly um, look at the filters installed here um, so here we can see uh, we have the jot filter uh, which is enabled uh, as far as the lua filter got programmed and then we also have the external auth z filter uh, this is the auth z filter that um, essentially helps us talk to OPA so we have OPA running um, along with on root and uh, the ex external auth z filter is configured to uh, send request uh, to OPA to verify policy and uh, let's also look at the filters So we have the chart filter set up. So note that these all uh, filters got set up automatically. Uh, when, once we specified those switches on the Helm command, um, it just uh, sets these up. Uh, we are going to use auth0 uh, for our uh, tests. So auth0 is, uh, is the is the JWorks provider, and uh, we have um, we are going to see how we'll send a chart token. Um, and it is talking uh, to auth0 we have an account on auth0 so it's talking to auth0 to verify the token um, so let's quickly uh, generate our token here so that uh, so right so here uh, so here we have uh, several different types of permissions that we have defined uh, read finance uh, read marketing write finance write marketing and uh, for this uh, specific example let's go ahead and uh, 
provide uh, the read finance permission. Now, um, we'll do a deep dive into the OPA policy, but just to um, get going with the demo, the read finance is something that OPA is going to deny because uh, what we have programmed OPA for is only allow uh, requests through which have the right finance permission. So read finance will be ignored, but at least we won't get a message saying the job did not get um, uh, verified. So there are two gates here. The first gate is the JOT gate. And once we pass the JOT gate, um, uh, Anwar is going to send it to the external C service, which is going to go to OPA, which is going to verify the policy. And it's going to see that it doesn't have right finance and it's going to deny the request. So let's just quickly uh, send that uh, header here. So that, and that's the header. So now we are getting a 403 forbidden. Uh, of course, that's coming from OPA. And uh, maybe we can look at the OPA logs. So get logs. quickly look at the logs here and uh, we see the result as false so that's that's why we are getting a, a 403 uh, for our uh, request right so that's the request on the post so we're going to inspect the uh, OPA policy in more detail but this is just to get started so earlier we sent a request without the jot and uh, it got uh, kicked out by Envoy. And now uh, we're gonna send a request with the JOT, with a valid JOT, so Envoy is gonna be okay with that, but at the same time, OPA is not gonna like it. So that's that. And uh, now um, let's continue with the presentation. Um, so yeah, this is the same thing I mentioned earlier. So there are a couple of filters used here. Uh, first is the JOT filter, uh, and the second one is the OPA filter. And once the JOT is verified um, on, through the Envoy JOT filter, and if the JOT is valid, it's sent to OPA. OPA verifies the claims. The OPA verification of claim generates an allow or a deny. We got a deny this time, and then if the claim is valid, it's sent to the service. So let's quickly look at uh, how the OPA policy looks like. Um, we are only going to allow um, requests which have um, a claim of uh, right finance. So now the request we sent, uh, let's quickly look at how the claims on that looks. Uh, so. So here we can see the scope of it is uh, read finance. And this is the same thing that we had used here to uh, generate the read, uh, read claims, right? And uh, uh, essentially, uh, OPA doesn't like it. Um, so here, let's even uh, look at the OPA policy. So So here is the uh, OPA policy, and what it does is uh, it extracts the, um, it takes the authorization header, and uh, it extracts the token from it. So it uh, moves past the bearer uh, string, and then uh, once it has the token, uh, the token gets decoded. Uh, so you you get the token, uh, the token get the token gets uh, decoded. And once you have the play payload, the payload has the claims, and then you want to ensure that the claims have right uh, finance in it. And uh, what you're going to query against is Envoy Auth Z allow. So the request is going to get allowed if you find this claim. Uh, but uh, like we noticed, uh, like we checked in the current uh, request, um, 
the claim is read finance uh, which is what we were of course sending and now let's just uh, quickly send a, a right finance uh, kind of claim and uh, ensure that it gets uh, it gets to go through so uh, let's use that Right, so now the request went through and uh, that is because um, uh, POPA um, policy was able to evaluate an allowed group. So let's quickly look at the OPA log again and uh, see what it shows. Uh, so here we see that uh, the result was allowed and uh, it caught the authorization header. Uh, this is the authorization header that it powered, passed to extract the joint and uh, extract the claims out of it and uh, verify it. So, so that's sort of a high level uh, demo of uh, the OPA integration. Let's quickly look at the OPA policy a little more. So uh, what we are saying is uh, the method should be post, the path should be post, and uh, uh, you should have uh, a claim that uh, needs a right finance, right? So even if we do a separate path, uh, it's not gonna like it, right? So let's try the get. So this is typically a valid path, but uh, OOPA should deny it. So this time it just denies it because the policy doesn't allow for that, uh, right? So the policy only allows post uh, on a post path. So um, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, what I had and uh, that concludes this session. So feel free to uh, try out OnRoute Gateway. If you need to use OPA, uh, shoot us a message and uh, we can work with you to uh, help you try it out. Uh, thank you.